choice. So let me get you a little cup of for this. So that goes against the hatch and up that way. for this one. That's that. Well, now it's... Oh, before we take this off. Oh, this is the back door. Yeah. I thought you wanted to do the front. It doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, you're right. I just wanted to try a small one just to see how it went. Okay. Um, what do you want to do? I don't care. Well, let's do this one since we got it. Alright, so this is going this way. Drive this back door. like when they cut these they, they go up and then out just a hair. They cut a 90, yeah. yeah. It's not like not just a 90 they open it up a little bit see how it comes up at 90 then it goes to give a little bit of space it looks. Oh yeah we might have to sand this you're right. Is that why you got that sand there? This is where it was uh oh, we'll try peeling it this way. Huh? Uh, maybe it would peel off. From the longer side? You're getting it.
down there. Wash the room stuff this way. Well, oxidation. Get a little paint. Cool. Look at all the dirt coming out of this thing. So that's our pattern. Do you have the bag for this uh, sander? Uh, yeah, it's all right. Is this bad okay? Yeah, it works. Good. <laughs> a lot easier to cut through the back end rather than through the front. As long as we work the same direction, we're good to go. Okay. 
back. So this is the front of the bunk. Um, this is the front, so we gotta go this way. So this has to be cut like that. Okay. Um, I do have a, a square if you want it. Right. Yeah. Right square, straight edge. I'm not worried about this edge not being square because it's going to fold in. Yeah. Anything that's extra, we can just try to cut it after. But, so we can go ahead bigger if you want to as well. Right? Okay. Uh, yeah, I can get you a level. Level would probably be better, right? Did I get it? Do you think? Oh yeah, nice. Good cut. And then I'll, this one I'll go this way for you. Just a little more right. Right about here. So we're gonna figure out what the hole is. We can do that afterwards. Hold on. Do you which side did you pick that up from? Just like, just like this. So that's the, the forward. So the bottom will be forward. Right. Okay. Because you said everything's gonna go that yeah. way. This way. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So as long as we're on the same way. Yep. Yeah. So this is the forward. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. I want to get it centered, not to go up over. All right, I'll start digging out clamps and stuff. This stuff cuts super easy. It cuts easy? Mm -hmm. It does with the right knife. Are you just coming out of the 90? I did just to like this. I don't want to try to, yeah, I don't want to try to throw this out. And then, are you doing the little cut I, at the end? I did. I. I'm just trying to get it out of the way. So at the end you just take a little quarter. 
if it needs it. When's that one done? It's perfect 90 this way. Just want to see how everything comes together. It's a little bit long there. I don't know if I should cut it. Oh, that was a little long. Shoot. Yeah. A little hair short here, but I tried it too. I must have slid it a little bit. Okay. No worries. So I guess should probably cut a little bit of that off. Yeah. small one if we happen to screw up. Yeah. At least we don't have a whole big long chunk. Listen. We're not gonna screw up. I don't know if you put it on both or not. Right. Here's our glue guys. Here's the pudding. Um you just wanna If you want to always go the same way with that stuff or not. I don't know. Oops. I guess that's the thickness that you want it on there. Right. Because those um, grooves are a certain depth. Yeah. Then, I know they use this on the tops, but I don't know if they use contact cement on the edges or not. But we we have the workshop here. You know, we have the ability to keep the heat on. And, Edges, but we can do that, I think. After it's yeah. Yeah. So try to get it as close as we can, I guess. Yep. There's that's good. This one, we can go this way with the whole thing of hair. Yep. Look all right. Hope so. Is it sticky? Is it sticky? Mm -hmm. And then you're going to want to do this. You're going to want to glue this. Did I bring over another one for you? Yeah. Inside and out. I think so, yeah. I think it'd be better off just to put it on the carpet. Yep, probably. Sounds good to me. You do 
not want to get it on that side of the cup. And probably, if you want to, you can might even be able to do this. It's still tight there. That's, that looks good. Yeah, my, my side looks really good. It's sticking fairly well, just like that. So it is pretty sticky. Is it? Yeah. This is supposed to be the best clue. Oh shoot. These sticks are out. Yeah, you're right, it is pretty good stickier than I was expecting. What do you think, one? Or, if we got the clamps. Might not have enough clamps. Is that it for clamps? Okay, so you... Oh, you got three on that row. Right. Oh, so up in the middle.
I've never seen anybody do them with like two like this to pinch it. So I don't know if that's 100% necessary or not. But I figured why not. That looks good. Flip her and see. I'll, I'll flip her up. You tell me if it looks taut. Looks good. Good. Okay, so we'll leave it. We'll leave the weight of it. We can How set long it. do they need? Did it say? Uh, recommended to use description. You don't know. I mean, the stuff that hit my thumb is already dry. So. What do you think? Think it's good? That 3M stuff I had, I mean, by the time you held it, the contacts in, you give it a few minutes, let go, and it stayed. Really? Yeah. Is that good or bad? Good. So there's weight to do this to the after? Doesn't dry on wood. No. This, this is on. I'm gonna go out and okay. just buff over it for a See, see if I can get. I'm pretty sure we're done with the sander unless I, I go inside. There's two thousand. Give me an eye, set an eyeball when you're ready. 